guys, so today I am finally doing the long-awaited, well, I waited, room tour of 2020. So this is a very special room to me because it's actually my second year staying in here. And I have went all out with buying useless things to decorate this place. <laughs> my reason is because I've spent so much time in this room in the past term because there's nowhere else to go and I kind of just need some things to make me more productive and also it's just nice to have a good surrounding. So this is one of the many college rooms in Unum College, Cambridge. I love this room and the vibe it gives off, the high ceilings, how the light hits in, how the fairy lights are twinkling at night. It's vibe. There's a lot of me like dotted around in the room and I try to make it as cozy as possible. So yeah, I'm very excited to show you and we shall get right to it starting with the entrance. So this is my door. So this is the first door and this is the second door. So the reason for this is basically just because you can hear everything that I'm doing in my room and you can hear everything outside. So having two doors means that I still hear everything but in a lower volume and people will still hear me. Like maybe people are hearing me talk right now but it's okay. This door I have a tote bag that I got from a local donut shop in Newcastle. Their donuts are so good. And then I covered a fire safety sign. I actually covered two so I covered this one and I also covered this one. But I've had fire alarm drills before, it's okay. I've only lived in this room for like 24 weeks because obviously last year I got kicked out because of corona and then this year I've only been here for eight weeks. But I am very attached to this room actually and makes me very happy. But anyway, I do know where to go if there's a fire alarm, so. Over here, I have some dried baby grass, which I love. You'll see them dotted around in my room. They're one of my favorite flowers, but I really hate the name, like baby breaths. It's just, doesn't vibe with me. I also have a Sumiko Grashi postcard and then postcard from my freshers. This is a very special postcard actually because it was during our first formal dinner. That is the door. Now we will head over to the right. So this next part is actually, well, it's kind of split into two parts actually, like this area and then that area. So if I just move, it is basically where I spend most of my time getting ready. I have like all my base stuff here, hair dryers, whatever, more baby wraps. And then here is my Cambridge card. Actually, you know what? Like, I sent this photo in when I was applying and they used it for my actual card and they stretched my face so much. I have a very round face, but here they made me look like, like a squished bun. My mirror, which serves as purpose. I look into it, check my outfit. I mean, most of the days I'm not wearing this. I'm just wearing like shorts and like an oversized jumper because, you know, all I'm doing is just staying in my room. So over here is what I would like to call my snack cupboard. So in first year of uni, this was full of snacks, like so many snacks. But right now, there's less snacks because I've been snacking less. But also, I have just thrown in a bunch of random stuff that doesn't have a home, basically. So a very basic area, so we'll head up. Okay, so here I have a cute pin board. I covered it because I don't like the color. It's just it's just like a gray. It's just not that nice. And also it's very whole filled. But here I have my beret, which I haven't worn out yet, but it's December now. And it was too scared to wear it during awesome because it just doesn't feel like the right season. Do you guys think this looks more like a cupcake or a muffin? Wait, aren't they the same thing? Accessories and some cards that my friends got me. Actually, I am quite a sentimental person. I love reading letters. I love writing letters and I just think they're the sweetest thing. Some bits and pieces. So I did like a theater show last year in Cambridge and then I watched Parasite and Weathering with You in Cambridge last year. And I did want to fill up this board with like memories from Cambridge, but I forgot all the photos that I printed and I left it at home. And this year, um, I'm not making that many memories. No, actually I am. I'm enjoying it. Clips from my friend Nat. I have it in blue, pink, and green and it always reminds me of the Powerpuff Girls. Here I have the wristbands of the ball events that I went to which were super fun. So I went to like the law ball and a ball party and also the Lent law gala. We'll just move on. So, um, this chair is very generally in a very awkward position because it's just, I would never sit here. I might try to use this a little bit more. Okay, comfortable is not like the most comfortable thing that's ever existed, but you know, um, it's what they gave. And I have my scarf and my plush, as well as a Totoro art 
Oops, I love Totoro. You know, all the childhood good vibes. I just realized that my posture must have been so bad in that shot. And yeah, it's true. My posture is very bad. <laughs> it's a true accurate reflection of how I sit on a normal daily basis. I sit like a prawn. Okay, so um, here, um, okay. So this is where I have some of my cards and I have loads of cards there for my friends. I did used to have them all displayed but then it kind of looked a little bit messy so I took it down. I have a Rilakuma and Fujitawa. It lights up, see? Whoa! Oh, that Loki looks like... Ooh, that looks nice but it looks kind of scary, doesn't it? A book that my best friends got me when I moved to Cambridge. It has notes from a lot of my friends and also photos. Very, very sentimental. Just very precious. Okay, maybe I should hold this up. Okay, I have another two cards and then this very, very, very nice diffuser. It's a peach diffuser. I really like peach flavored, peach scented, peach things. But I actually dropped this multiple times. So many times. That's why there's only like this much left. There's an empty bottle which normally has flowers in paintbrushes but I don't have the paints yet so. And then this is a light from Argos. Nothing special but without this light I literally can't function in this room. And then I have some fake finds because I'm a basic girl. And then here are my bags that I use on a normal basis. I down here, I also have my Dyson, which is what I use for the super cold nights and the super warm nights. And yeah, it's just good. Hello there. Welcome to my workspace. It's looking super cute because as you guys can see and how I struggle with the lights, like I think the lights kind of make it all look very pretty. Here's my big, big, big desk. I spend most of my time here nowadays especially and I'm just here working, working, working and that is literally just it. I try not to have like my relaxing time or like if I watch like a TV show or something, I try to watch it on my bed rather than on this desk just for like a separation of space and like a work-life separation, which I just said. So above my desk is where I have some books. These books actually I haven't used all that much this year. A lot of the reading is actually online because my uni like sorted out all the reading which they really could have done last year so that we didn't have to buy books but yeah. So that one is a fake plant and she is so cute. Over here I have some real flowers although they're basically all dead and then I have my Hindu and Bible over there. <laughs> desk normally is a mess as you can see I have quite a big desk this is the biggest desk that I have worked on so normally I just have my laptop here set up this is actually a gaming laptop that my brother built but nonetheless it does its job and then I have my iPad <laughs> in this little left corner I just have my humidifier which I normally have on my glasses some miscellaneous things things that I need cutest adapter Ever. It's so cute. This cat my friends got for me and he changes color. Ooh. Okay. And then over here is a frame from Commandment & Co that my friends got me also when I moved to Cambridge. Some notes that I have here from lectures and stuff like that. And this is on like a bamboo shelf thing. Over here is just miscellaneous things like post-it notes and very cute flowers. This coaster. She is so cute. Beautiful and bougie notebook. I got this for my birthday also. So beautiful. I use it to like write down my thoughts. Calculator for the zzzz maths. Here I have a statue book that I use quite regularly and then some more notes and folders. I know a lot of you guys have asked where this is from. I will link it below, but it's literally just from Amazon. It is my favorite keyboard that I've gotten so far. It is so cute and like very retro. And then I have a matching mouse. Once again, the fairy lights really add something to it. I have my Kilakuma that I had to sleep. And then this big Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu, right? This bedding is actually from home. I wasn't actually planning to bring this bedding because I already have this like pink checkered building bedding. Not a building. I wish I had a pink checkered building. Here you see this table, which honestly, I use this table pretty much for like everything I can. So when I'm studying outside, when I'm eating and I really want to like zone and chill out, then I will eat here and watch like a K-drama or something. If we move a little bit over there. I have some Studio Ghibli prints and they are very cute. I love them. And here I just have a little bit of like a gold thing going on and I have these sakuras that was part of like a DIY thing from the Muji book that I showed you before the view when I am like sleeping is just like loads of fairy lights but we now head 
over this way. So we have reached the end of my bed, which is where my window is. My huge, big, big, big window. This is a super nice and super cozy space to be. I've sat on here to work before. I also tend to get ready here in the mornings as well, just because of the natural lighting. These curtains are like the biggest curtains that I've ever seen. On my windowsill, I just have some plants. This plant has actually been growing a lot of new leaves and I'm very, very, very happy of its progress. I got this very cute like nozzle. I just fill up this old bottle with water and then I can just like water out like this instead of getting a watering can so this is quite a good alternative for like university students or for me someone who does not want to pay like 25 pounds for a watering can this fits in with my aesthetics this kid she brings joy to my life she is really cool a friend made this for me when i moved it's so cute like it's 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 so cute so now we'll head over to my wardrobe can you see the new leaf so cute! I just spend a lot of time here picking out outfits because I'm so indecisive and I never know what to wear. It's not even clothing. I'm not gonna show you my wardrobe right now. Definitely not because I just shoved in all my clothes and I haven't folded or put any of the clothes on a hanger. It's definitely not because of that. It's just because um, I want to give my clothes some privacy. So yeah, I mean, let's just, let's just go. So this is what I'd like to call a useless shelving compartment. This has like one, two, three, five, nine compartments. It is useful for storing things because you can store things, but it's so useless because you don't know where anything is. So all I ever remember is masks are here and then like accessories are here and like that's it. So I'm always like, I have a mirror which is broken. Love that. And then I have my two baby plants. I have books at the back. And um, these are books from like last year. Books I don't really need to use. Okay, over on to ta -da! This is my freezer and fridge filled with my mom's food. I got a freezer because we don't have a freezer in our shared kitchen. We do have a fridge in the shared compartment, but I just thought it'd be nice to have a fridge to like store like milk and stuff. Actually, I didn't think it would be nice. My mom thought it would be nice and then she bought me a fridge. Next to my freezer is my trusty laundry bag. It's also a peach and she makes me want to do laundry. <laughs> On my back wall are clouds. These are cloud balloons that I got. They actually have a face at the back. Um, but I prefer the other side just because it makes it have more of like a plain look. I think the fairy lights really tie in the room and how I put them up is like I put picture hooks and then I climbed up and got like a stick and my friend also helped me and then we just like strung it, stringed it, strung it, stringed it <laughs> across the room and it just looks very cute and it also kind of gives a separation of space as well I feel. And we are back to the beginning. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my room and just me sharing about bits and bobs from my room. Um, I love staying in this room. It is a very, very cute room and I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.